So are your desires already in place? Yes. Who put them there? And did you do it arbitrarily? Did you do it with great detail? Did you do it by processing life? Do you think that you did a good job of it? In fact, doesn't it feel like your vibrational escrow holds the culmination of the perfection of your desires? And do you understand that it is so understood to be appropriate for you that source has gravitated around it and is tending to it for you, standing there for you, calling you toward it? Doesn't that give you a, a sense of reassurance and well being? And aren't you looking forward to getting yourself in the vicinity of it? Yes. And so, can you see that your work is no longer to try to figure out who you are? You've figured it out. Your work is to love yourself into the vicinity of it. So your work is to laugh more and play more and cruise more and bask more and meditate more. Your work is to go to the beach more, dangle your feet in the bay more. Your work is to do the things that soothe you into alignment more. You've done the work that has put it into vibrational escrow. The work of your life has been happening all along. Now the allowing part is what you come to. And the allowing part is the soothing soothing yourself, the coddling yourself, if you will. It's the talking yourself. It's the soothing yourself in the way that you would soothe anyone that you love. It's the reassuring yourself. It's the positive aspect in yourself. It's the looking for reasons to appreciate yourself into all of those things. Those things are done. We so much want you to hear that what you want to be, all of those things you want, the extra money that you want, the better lifestyle that you want, the improved relationships that you want, the improved bodily conditions that you want, the stimulating projects that you want, the monuments that you want, the adventures that you want, the enterprises that you want, the work environments that you want, the fulfilling your life purpose that you want, Everything that you want is already all framed up for you and standing there blinking a specific vibration, ready for you, 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 ready for you. But that culmination of magnificent creation is not going to come over there to where you are and take you by the hand and lead you back. You've got to get into vibrational proximity with it. Are you getting the picture of it? You must practice the art of allowing. You must practice the art of coming into alignment with that which you have become. And you know why you have a hard time doing it. The reason you have a hard time doing it is because you created this magnificent vibrational escrow so incrementally that you don't recognize who you have become because you've been obstinate buggers for quite a while. You wanted, but you didn't go. You wanted, but you didn't go. You wanted, but but you didn't go. You wanted, but you didn't go. You wanted, but you didn't go. And now you don't even know what you want. Now you don't even know what you want because you only know the last little piece of it that you put in. You have no idea, most of you, how magnificent you have become. You don't know how brilliant you are. You don't know how resourceful you are. You don't know the billions of dollars that you've amassed. You don't know how creative you are. You don't know how worthy you are. You've lost track of who you are. And here's who you are over here, the broader part of you, the larger part of you, the non-physical part of you, the part of you that was before you were born, the part of you who has become become more because of everything that you've lived, that part of you is now standing there radiating the signal of the fullness of who you are. And you say, oh, it doesn't seem possible or, oh, it's too grandiose or, oh, I just couldn't do that. And we say, yes, you can. You just can't do it all at once. So go to the beach, take a cruise, do something that makes yourself feel better. Look for the positive aspects, fall in love with things, look at beautiful things, look for reasons to feel good. Be determined that you're going to feel a little better and feel a little better and feel a little better till you coax yourself into the approximate vicinity of the radiating culmination of the source energy that is really you. And when you start getting close to it, you'll start feeling the call of it. And that's what passion is. That's what eagerness is. That's what inspiration is. That's what that feeling, that undeniable feeling is. But you friends, you've got to coax yourself into vibrational proximity of it. That is the work. That's what you've got to do. You've just got 
got to love yourself a little more. You've just got to love your neighbor a little more. You've got to look at reasons to hate a little less and look at reasons to love a little more. You've got to look for the positive aspects wherever you are. You've got to decide that nothing is more important than the way you feel because the way you feel determines whether you're moving away from or toward who you have become. And we got to tell you, unless you're moving toward who you have become, you will be unhappy. You cannot continue to deny yourself who you have become and feel good. And we know you don't know it. We know it. We're here to remind you that you know it. Some of you are beginning to know it. We know something that you don't know. And every effort that we make is to help you to remember it. You know the difference between what doesn't feel so good and what feels a little better. But you keep saying, but I don't know all of it. And we say, you don't need to know all of it. Just know what you know. Worse, better, worse, better, relief, 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 relief. It feels better. You're going to get off the ship. Oh, here, we'll give you something even better. So today, you're going to be begin packing, yes? yes. Packing. <laughs> so is packing upstream or downstream? So packing is sort of upstream, unless you can get somebody else to do it. <laughs> so even something as simple as packing is a choice of upstream or downstream. Even something as simple as anticipating getting off the ship, upstream or downstream. Could be a little tense. You need to talk it into feeling better. If we were standing in your physical shoes and you start thinking about getting off the ship and you start thinking about the experience of doing that, the experience of sort of waiting around, the experience of gathering up your luggage, the experience of getting back to the airport or whatever your transportation is, you might be tensing against that. And you say, what's that got to do with my vibrational escrow? And we say, everything, everything. So you say, well, I don't see how it relates. And we say, you're having emotional responses to it. If it's upstream, you're depriving yourself of everything that you put over here. You say, why should I make the effort of making packing be more pleasant? And we say, because everything you want over there in vibrational escrow depends on it. Why should I make the effort of looking for the positive aspect in that person who betrayed me so completely? Why should I make the effort? That person was the one that did wrong because everything in your vibrational escrow depends on it. In other words, you just can't let life call you into omriness and angriness and defensiveness and fear and do nothing about it and ever expect to receive the benefit of all the stuff that you put over there in vibrational escrow. The art of allowing says, I will allow myself to be who I am, not to get the goodies, but because allowing myself to be who I am turns me in the direction of what's there and riding that river is the joy of life and not riding it rips me apart. So this is what we're wanting you to understand. Day by day by day by day, you have thousands of upstream downstream choices. And we just want you, and we know you will now be, more aware of whether you're making upstream or downstream choices. And when you stop trying to make the choice right now, this red hot minute, be the big payoff. This choice, oh yeah, I'll make the right choice and it will be the big payoff. And we say, probably not. It'll probably just be a little more downstream and a little less upstream. But as you begin to do that, what happens is you begin to move yourself into vibrational proximity of the power of the universe. And then what begins to unfold for you is a ride on the river, the likes of which no one has ever experienced. We want you to know what we see in your vibrational escrow. And we want you to feel how proud we are of you for putting it all there. And we want you to know that no matter where you're looking around because of what's happening in your life, source is standing there, not just tending to it, but being that which you have become, which you can wait until you croak to catch up with, or you can move in the direction of it here and now. So when you pack today, 
Find a way to make it fun. Find a way to be more organized than usual. Find a way to be more playful with whoever it is you're packing with. Find a way to be more deliberate in it. Find a way to make it a better packing experience than it has ever been. When you're getting ready to get off the ship tomorrow, find a way to make the waiting for your turn to get off a time that law of attraction brings you some really meaningful, last minute, joyful, wonderful experience. Prepave in your mind the benefit of every aspect of your day. When you're moving from one place to another, stop and segment and tend a little bit. Think about who you are and what you want. Begin to collect the resources from every moment in time. Turn downstream, not because it will net you something now, but because it is the true natural being that is you. You are downstream beings who have trained yourself upstream. It's no wonder you're Omri. You are downstream beings. Life is supposed to be easy. Life is supposed to be fun. And that's why when it isn't, most of you are throwing little mini fits while you conform with whatever's going on. Let the way you feel be the most important thing today. No matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, no matter who I'm doing it with, it is my dominant intent to look for that which I'm wanting to see. Nothing is more important than that I feel good. I'm going to look for the best feeling thought that I can find from right here where I am. Not the best feeling thought I've ever thought, not the best feeling thought anybody's ever thought, just the best feeling thought about packing that I can ever find right here and now.